So, you want to know what I just realized? I completely forgot about this, but remember the episode where we headed over to Scorch and got ourselves that lovely thorny dragon? Well, I actually planned on going over to Aberration, either in the end of that episode or after that, and I wanted to go ahead and get myself some blue gems because I wanted a glide suit. Well, I don't know why, but I completely forgot about that, and it's been like a week or something, and I still don't have a glide suit, so let's head over to Aberration to get ourselves that, and maybe some other stuff. I don't know. We could potentially tame up an Anki and a Dodic or something. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, we actually, I figured out a really like a completely strange way that I can travel between the maps. I actually didn't know about this. I don't even need to use the obelisk. I found this really crazy spyglass. Now watch this. This is absolutely just ridiculous. I didn't even know it could do this. Okay, watch this. This is how I can travel. See that? That is absolutely crazy. Now look, we're on aberration. Like what? That is so cool. I had no idea that we could do this. All right, just to prove it, let's go back to the island. And we're back. Oh my God. And it's raining now. What the hell? Yeah, this thing is absolutely crazy. Let's go back to Aberration and get ourselves those gems. But guys, go ahead and hit the like button as well, because we're going to need lots and lots of likes in this video for no reason besides the fact that that would be good. <laughs> and also, go ahead and subscribe. There's a lot of people not subscribed. And I realized after the video where I mentioned that, a lot of you guys who weren't subscribed did subscribe. So there's definitely still a couple of you right there. And you're in here watching this and you're not subscribed and you definitely should be so yeah let's head back to aberration and now we're back on ab look at that oh my god i love the spy class we got to be careful about this though i better not point that at any creatures i don't want to transfer over to a random map whenever i freaking pull out my spy glass totally not editing magic you know what are you talking about that's not editing anyway so uh let me see we need to take out a creature because this map is very very dangerous i've just realized oh my god how did I forget? <laughs> How did I forget to bring narcotic? What is wrong with my brain when I'm like preparing for these freaking little journeys and everything? This is so stupid. All right, great. So we're going to probably have to gather up some stuff, but we're also going to need to watch out for ravagers over here. That actually could potentially be my saber killer here today. I don't really want to lose the saber. It's a pretty decent saber. So yeah, don't really want to end up a... Uh, being eaten by ravagers here so we need to head down to the blue area which is actually a pretty decent distance from where i spawned so um yeah we, we just got to travel all the way over there i think i'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for some bulb dogs on the way and i definitely need to also hit up one of the little weird z plant thingies because i'm gonna need myself some seeds so let me see what is that just up ahead that is an iguanodon wait there are aberrant versions of iguanodons right Ooh, an aberrant ivan Hmm, nah. <laughs> I think when it comes to some creatures, you know, like some of them I'll do, you know, the mutations for like aberrant versions or whatever, but I'll probably not bother too much with trying to make every single aberration version as like an aberration mutation stack or whatever, because it's a lot harder to actually pick up some of those creatures. Now we can tame them over on Valkyro as well, which is good, but yeah it's not always going to be a super easy option uh, if i can't find super high levels or whatever i'd love to do baryonyxes that way though so i don't know we'll have to see if we can find some of those i gotta quickly just kill the stego because i want your metal and other pieces why is that other stego over there why does he not care that i'm killing his his female no you just you're just not bothered you don't even care at all are you also a female no you're a male what the hell okay well, I'm glad that you didn't come over because it would have been harder to kill that one because it would have been mate, boost, mate boosted if I could speak. Um, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to work my way through some of the stuff. I know that there's a Z plant just up ahead by that giant um, pillar thingy just around the corner. Let me quickly kill this dude. Come on. Almost. All right. I want to stop by there, grab some Z seeds because we're going to need those uh, as kibble for these guys here we could also use berries on the bulb dogs but i'll probably just go with the seeds instead it's a little bit quicker and we get better percentages we need to watch out for carnos now actually i've just realized because carnos do their their little bleed attack oh and one more thing as most people probably already know about um raptors can no longer pounce except for the the average versions can pounce on you so don't let them fool you or whatever because they will probably end up killing you if you do not realize that they can still do that to you 
so yeah definitely watch out for those dudes um i don't know why they removed the pounce from raptors when they introduced uh genesis but i guess they forgot to do it from the aberrant version a lot of people thought it was a mistake because it was still on the aberrant version but i really don't know i i assume they probably just didn't want it on the raptors anymore because to be honest it it was kind of dumb and and ridiculously op anyway uh there's a z plant right here i do see there was like ravagers over the other side there there's also a carno i might be able to get one or two seeds though and uh then we can be on our way i know there's tons of these everywhere so should be fine to try and find another one eventually i don't really want to get caught by that carno and bled out though you know i don't really remember these seeds taking so long to pop out but at least i got a little sin here to uh stop me from being bored taking out galleys and showing them to me little guy i have seen quite a lot of people asking for some little sin merch but i've got something better in mind that i'm not allowed to talk about <laughs> just wait a little bit please oh it's gonna be worth it i can't wait oh man all right well we've got two seeds now we're, de we're definitely gonna need more i think it takes like three seeds for a 180 with my usual taming rates which is five times well no 2.5 with the new thing and here comes the Carno. Uh, I don't really want to fight you, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Um, but yeah, those I don't know why. Those plants just seem to take longer now. I don't know. Maybe it's just in my head. I've just realized don't run through the red mushroom thingies. Um, can I jump across here? I'm pretty sure I can. Whoop, there we go. I wanted to kill this dude here. We should really go to Genesis and just go to the lunar biome for like a little bit. Provided that it's not raining like freaking asteroids or whatever. Um... Or would they be meteors? I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, if it's not raining uh, meteors or whatever, then that could be good. We could go there and potentially pick up ourselves a lot of um, a lot of nice goodies like freaking oil and element dust, electronics, and a little bit of metal scrap. I love metal scrap actually. I love the one to one piece to one piece of metal uh, ratio. It's much better than just going around harvesting metal. Let's see. Um, what do we got down there? Well, we've got a lot of. Uh, Dinosuchus, which is from Arc Editions. There's the Aberrant version here, and actually I've just remembered they are everywhere on this map. There are like, there's a lot of them over here. Hmm, that could be very dangerous. We should actually also try and maybe kill a Carcanos if I can, because we can get ourselves some um, organic polymer from them. They're not really that hard to kill if you've got, you know, arrows. You don't want to use bullets against them. Arrows do more damage. Uh, let's see. Ooh, what's that over there? Okay, it's just a roll rat. I'm kind of wondering. I could, you know, put my saber away and, and go across here. Although I see ravagers over there, so maybe not. I do also see a tech raptor. I can't remember if the tech raptors still do the pounce or not. I assume they probably don't, and only the aberrant ones do. That wouldn't make sense if the tech raptors also did. Never mind. Um, anyway, let's see. So I'm just going to try and make my way kind of closer to uh, where the blue gems would be. And the, what do they call that? The edge, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, we've got a little bulb dog right here. Hello, level six. Never mind. Um, I don't want to jump down right here because obviously the rivers is like just flooded with spinos, carcanos, and all these bad things. So definitely want to be running along the top here where it's a little bit safer, just a little bit safer, and uh, trying to get over there. I should also keep my eyes peeled for a freaking Anki and a Dodic though because I kind of want to tame a better Dodic. Our one's great, but you know, could probably do with a little bit of a better one just realized i should grab some green gems while i'm here oh i also killed an alpha raptor i actually meant to hit record but then i forgot um i just killed it but besides the base it was only like a level 18 to be honest it was dead before i even realized that i should have put on my chibi uh, that was dumb but um yeah it gave me a slightly better pick and a slightly better hatchet the hatchet is actually journeyman of course uh let's get out of here i don't need to to fight the freaking scorpion all right so gonna keep working my way through here hopefully we can find some nice things along the way there's where we need to be. All right, so I made it down to the edge. You don't actually have to go fully down there at all to actually get yourself some gems. Here is a good location where there's a decent amount of blue gems if you're looking for them. Uh, I actually got spat on by an Arthro and it just it broke on my armor. Uh, man, it's okay. I actually meant to wear the chitin armor over here anyway, but we uh, probably should have been a little bit more careful. Um... So yeah, I didn't find any good level bulb dogs or anything on the way down here, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Maybe we could actually find a shine horn because sometimes you can find them on the edge right here. Uh, I don't really want to go into that area too much or even a little bit, to be honest. Uh, are you? Oh, you're going after it. My frames. Oh wait, are you on passive flea? What the hell? How the hell did you get on that? Why would you be on passive flea? I didn't put you on that. 
Buddy, get me, let me up there. My frames in this area have just kind of like gone to absolute crap. I don't really understand why. Um, I do know that Aberration in general is not a great map for frame rate, <laughs> but still, I don't know. It's just gone like super bad right now. I, we're probably rocking like 20 frames, which is kind of unheard of for me, to be honest. I know a lot of people don't have great frames, but I like to have a high frame rate because it makes the videos look good. And I always feel bad when it drops down even though I can't really control it too much. Uh, I could turn on my settings, but I guess we're not really going to be here for too long. Let's see. Let me just grab a good amount of these blue gems anyway. I might as well just grab them all, to be honest, because I could probably carry them. And I've just realized, what is it that you get when you hit the uh, freezing spores? I can't remember exactly what it is. I should quickly try and grab some, um, some mushrooms before I actually hit those. I can't remember. Did they break if you hit them straight away? Oh, this better not break on me. Okay, yeah, no, it gives you the mushrooms. That's what it is. Okay, I thought, I think the red ones are, the red uh, mushrooms give you like, um, what is it called? Biotoxin, right? I think. I can't really rem like, I feel like they give you that. I can't really remember too much right now. Um, but yeah, we could actually hit those up just a little bit just to get all those different types of mushrooms. That would be good. Not that we really need them, but it's nice to just have them. One thing that I really didn't enjoy out of Aberration is the fact that you, you're not able to, like, grow the mushrooms in any way. I would have thought that would have been a great little addition because, I don't know, like, going from Scorched, where we got, like, a full tier of structures and everything, to Ab, where, you know, we got a couple things. We didn't really get a huge amount. It kind of sucks a little bit, you know? Oh, I've just realized. I should grab some, um, what are they called? Uh... Wait, and let me let me quickly just eat some of these. I could have sworn you eat the aquatic ones to stop the freezing, right? I'm pretty sure. I need to grab some fungal wood while I'm over here. That needs to happen because then I can make myself some uh, shag carpets or shag rugs, I think is what they're called. Okay, level 18 Karkonos is probably not going to be too difficult to kill. We have some other bad things around the area, though. I'm going to let those guys over there beat them up just a little bit, and then we can see about killing it. Uh, did I bring any regular arrows? I did not. Okay. Well, we could probably try to take it down with a saber because it's looking pretty bloody right now. You know what? Let's go Let's go close because I think this guy is going to die. Yeah, there we go. Give me some of it. There we go. Sweet. All right. Now we try and make a run for it. All right. Let me gamma up so you guys can actually see. Let me around this little corner here. Okay. There's raptors right there. Let me take that and then drop the rest. Yeah, we really gotta, um, we really gotta drop some of the stuff into the obelisk if I can. I just gotta find any drop at all. It, it's, it's just a matter of actually finding one. Sometimes in this biome, it's like super awkward to actually get to one. So maybe I should take a little look over in that direction after a while if I can't find one up here. All right. We got a scorpion and a carno and a carcanose and a... Dinosuchus, I uh, meant to jump there, but apparently that just didn't want to happen. Okay, let's keep going this direction. Come on, let me across. There we go, we got a Dodic. There's an Aberrant version, right? Yeah, there is. It's, that's a terrible level, though. All right, we're just going to jump away here. All right, here we go. Got to upload all the goodies. Maybe not that, because I'm pretty sure that half's the spoil time, right? Drop in all these goodies. Although, no, I need that. That is going to be for making the glide suit, which we can actually make now. So I guess I'll do that right now. Give me some of these gems back. Okay, one glide suit, please. I realize the glide suit's probably going to weigh more than pretty much anything else, but it's fine. I needed one anyway. I probably could just chuck it away as well if it's still too heavy. I did chuck away the saddles, though. All right, you can go back in your ball. Oh, hello. 174 bulb dog. Um, I think it might take three seeds for that, and I only have two. Is there a plant nearby? Okay, I want that. Yeah, it's a decent color as well. All right, um, let me see. Whereabouts is this? Kind of close to that thing right there. Okay, cool. I'll come back here. Um, I want to tame that thing, though. All right, is this you? That is indeed the 174. I could have sworn the little head lantern was a different color, but... I'm probably wrong. There we go. Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. No, it is going to take three. Never mind. All right. What level's that one? Hello. 114. I don't want it. Hey, there we go. Sweet. We're going to need a name for this little dude. Look at him. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Bulb dogs are so goofy looking. All right, let's see. So still on the lookout for a good level Anki slash Dodic. I'm hoping to at least find one of those before I leave this map. And I also got to remember to actually grab me some fungal wood. So maybe I'll do that now. One eighty, nice. All right, I'll tame that. That is the best level I've seen besides that one sixty eight I saw down the hill getting mauled by ravagers. Was well, not worth saving. Um, all right, let's see. So I'm gonna need to chuck these darts into the trank rifle. I should be able to do this. Uh, might need to kill this bear and maybe these bugs. Yeah, I'll kill the bear and the bugs. And then I think we're pretty safe here, unless I don't know what's up the hill. Over there kind of looks safe though. We can head over in that direction with it. All right, come on. There we go. One, and then one more. There we go. Dead. Sweet. All right, let me go ahead and just kill this bear real quick. Only a level 12. Not bad. And dead. Okay. It looks kind of safe over here. I don't see any ravagers. Yeah. Uh, there is a scorpion, but we probably will be okay for the moment. Let me just chuck my saber over here. I see some more bugs, but... Uh, I guess we could kill them too. What the hell? Get out of here. Why is there so many of you? <laughs> All right. I don't know where the rest of them went. So whatever. Cool. Um, we'll leave you right there. Nice. I guess I probably would have known about the 180 if I had to did the light up thingy. Um, whereabouts is that? That's down here, right? There we go. There's so many freaking emotes now. Yeah, if I had done that, I would have known about the 180. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Come on. We are still safe, right? Okay. I think we're good. Well, there's a lot of things that if something did come over, they might go ahead and attack the Stegos instead. So, we gotta knock this dude out. Pretty standard. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, we got the Dodic. Um, I don't know if I have a name for it. Let's see. Alright, let me pick you up there, bud. Let's see your stats first. Uh... Not too bad, actually. All right. We're just going to put you into Soul Ball for now. I'll use you when we get back to uh, the island. All right. I don't really think too many Yankees spawn around this area, so I think I'm going to try and go back over to the edge, and we'll see if we can find one around there, or even just the rivers, maybe, or something. I don't really know. We're going to have to find one, though. Definitely want me some lovely Aberrant Anki. We'll overlay you. You good level? you imagine if that was another 180 and a female i'm pretty sure we just got a male right uh yeah it, it is a male oh that would have been so good we just we would have had like a breeding pair straight there oh that would have been amazing all right well anyway um it's gonna be like a long journey over to here so i'll see you in a little bit and there is a basilisk which i am not going to get hit by because i'm gonna just keep jumping away Oh, hmm. What gender's mine? Male. Ooh. Should we tame that? Hmm. I kind of want to. Male and a female, 168, 180. Like, yeah, I feel like we got to do this. Okay. Um, Is this area even safe? I guess it kind of is, actually. Is there anything up here, though? That's the main concern for me. Uh, I think we're actually good. Yeah, this area is not too bad. All right, I guess I'm going to knock this thing out then. Um, yeah, hopefully I'm going to have enough kibble left for an Anki, though. The last one cost eight pieces of kibble. Yeah, we're only going to have like four left. I suppose I can come back then if I need to. I don't know. I feel like we should tame this because then I'll be able to breed some Dodex and uh, potentially do some mutations. I've just realized I ran through the red mushrooms right there. And by the way, super framey around here. Not exactly sure why. Um... Kind of weird. All right, let's uh, try and knock this thing out then. Um, so yeah, I guess we can come back and maybe tame an Anki a different time. Although, hmm, hang on a second. We could tame an X Anki actually. Those things look way cooler. And if I'm gonna do mutations on some Ankies at some point, yeah, okay. Yeah, why did I not even think that X Ankies exist? I completely forgot about that. Completely forgot that those things existed. Yeah, they, they're like the volcanic kind of skin on them. We need to tame one of those at some point to do some crazy cool colors on that. All right, that's settled. I guess I don't need to find an Anki. I guess I'm just going to settle with this Dodic and the one that we already have. And maybe we could even breed them here today. Hopefully we have some good stats between the two of them, though, because I don't have enough kibble for any more over here. 
Let's see. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna knock this thing out and then get it all teamed up. It's gonna obviously take a bit, so I'll see you guys later. All right, so if the last one took um, eight kibble, this one potentially could take seven, but I'm not exactly sure. I might have to just keep an eye on it. Yeah, I reckon it's probably gonna take the full eight. Yeah, okay. There we go. All teamed up. Amazing. All right. So actually, how are your stats compared to this one? So you know what? You know what? It's probably best if I just look at the points into stats. Then I don't have to compare the numbers. To be honest, honest, like the freaking... Oh, I'm just freaking out because I'm like, it's so handy. The, the dino storage mod is just so good for comparing this stuff. Like I can see how many points are into the stat and that way I know if it's a good stat. It's just so good. I mean, alternative, alternatively, I could just be looking at the numbers and everything, but I see there, like this one here has 36 points into health as opposed to 30 on this one. Um, so the health on the stem are better on that. Oxygen's better on that. Don't really care though. Food's better on the male. Weight is a decent bit better on the female. Melee is... Oh, melee on both of them is actually quite good. 48 is is definitely a good amount, but 51, that's even better. I mean, damn. All right, so in terms of points, we're going to be going with the 36, 36 from this, and then the 38, and then 51. So we literally only need the weight from the female, so it's not going to be too bad. And in terms of colors, we actually got some pretty decent ones. I kind of, I felt like the male's colors were nicer though. Let me actually just look at the two of them side by side. Um, yeah, I thought the male was like kind of like a bit darker. I thought it was kind of black to be honest, but I guess it's not. Um, I like that little bit of blue mixed into this. So before we go for some color mutations or anything, obviously I kind of would prefer it to look like this, uh, if anything. So maybe if you get that blue with whatever gray or whatever this is, that would be cool. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's just, let's get off this map now. Um, before I die, because that's totally gonna happen. This map is pretty freaking dangerous. It's not as bad as like Genesis where like the biomes are just packed full of creatures everywhere that want to eat you. But Aberration is a relatively dangerous map with all the Ravagers. Although I guess nowadays there's not as many as there used to be. Uh, people, people still watch my Aberration, my first few Aberration videos, like when it first came out and they're like, what the hell's with all the Ravagers? Cause there was so many more back then. And they definitely uh, took a bunch away. Like they had spawns everywhere and it's still pretty bad, but it's just not as bad as it used to be. Um, let me go ahead and kill this office. I've killed so many freaking offices. Um, I can't remember if I showed it at all, but in case you're wondering where all the items are, I've just been uploading them in the little drops that you find around the place. So, um, and that's what I'm looking for to get off this map. So I need to find one of those. They're kind of a little bit difficult to find. Sometimes they can be high up and you just can't get to them in time or even at all. So I think I might head over towards the lake, which I do believe in this is in this direction here. And then we're going to head off this map. So let me go ahead and... Oh, there's two tech parasaurs. What is with all the tech creatures on this map? I love it, but like... My god, there's just so many. It's kind of crazy. I don't even understand why there's so many of them here. It's so weird. All right, let me kill all you. Come on. Yeah, that's right. What are you doing? It's not even like running from me. It's so strange. All right, so we're back on the island and we have these little dodics breeding together here. Um, it's gonna probably take about a minute or so for the baby to pop out. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah Let me let me show you something here. This uh, this was unfortunate But it happened and we just need to we need to just move past it There's a dead raptor right here. Why is there a dead raptor? Well, this raptor killed my dung beetle Yeah, he just like straight up murdered it and then I couldn't find him and then I found him here like he was just like chilling over here somewhere I don't really even know and uh, and then I murdered him and um it was the same raptor, I assume. I mean, both of them were level 66. The one that killed my dung beetle was, at least. Um, but yeah, he just he just came right up here and he just decided, hey, tasty dung beetle, I'm gonna go ahead and eat it. Uh, luckily, I have a lot of fertilizer, like in all of these right now, so we're good for the moment, but it's pretty upsetting anyway. Um, so yeah, what else? Uh, oh yeah, there was something I wanted to show you. So, I've done a little bit more work with the chimney and we actually have it sticking out really really far now you may be wondering how did i do that okay like because let me show you the fireplace is still in here how did i get the chimney to go all that 
way up there because like look it's kind of dark so i'm just gonna gamma up but yeah there's a fireplace right there there's a chimney up the top well there's actually a hidden second fireplace in that little like kind of block right here where the chimney kind of you know like these walls and everything like this little box essentially there's just a hidden fireplace inside of there and i was like yeah that's a great idea i'm just gonna do that that's so much easier than um you know morphing my building in strange ways to try and make it work so i'm happy i did that uh, this baby should pop out. Here we go. Um, it's probably not the one I'm going to be looking for because it's not a super, super high level, which means that it probably doesn't have all the best stats. It might have some good ones, though. It's a male. Pretty sure our male had all the really good stats out of our two. Um, hmm. You know what? This thing might actually... Wait, what stamina does it have? Okay, wait, I'm pretty sure this one here is more stam. Yeah, I'd rather have the, the higher stats. So I guess that male right there is not going to be useful for us. Let's go ahead and just try to see if I can get it to come out here. So yeah, we're going to breed those dudes together. And um, I think I'm just going to imprint one and then we'll probably be done. Maybe what we'll do is like eventually we'll do some like um, some mutations or something. I don't really try and I don't really want to try and like do that here today, though. I don't think that baby's even going to be able to come out of there. It looks like it's probably stuck. This is not a great place to breed them, but I was kind of thinking, yeah, I don't really want to breed out here considering the fact that there's like raptors and the occasional snake that just pops up. So we need to do some work on our area here and uh, make it a little bit safer, clearly. Let me see. Let me go ahead and just dispose of the trash. <laughs> I'd love that. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah. Oh, man, the chimney looks so much so much better. Like that, that looks so good. I really like that. Uh, what else have I done here? I feel like I've done something else. Oh, I've done something super small on the inside here. Let me show you. I will start working. Oh, and actually, uh, I also did this. I put down some rugs right here in the center. Um, I might put some underneath the table as well. We'll see. I'll probably paint them as well at some point. Oh, I have something else to show you. Let me let me just try to get to all of this. Because I came back and I did like a bunch of things here and put a bunch of items away and everything. So yeah, it's like been a little while. I decided to put down some taxidermy bases and then remove the base. You can do that in S+. Plus. You can kind of like change it as well. It could be like the regular or you can have it as like all these other different styles if you want. So I just decide to go with none and then it looks like a little action figure just like chilling on this uh, on this table right here. So I have like five of them right there. Pretty cool for the moment. And then this, obviously, a bunk bed. I'll probably separate off this room and make, like, a proper bedroom or something. And I was thinking of separating this off and putting the bathroom back here. Um, and I don't know where we're going to put, like, a bit of a kitchen. We might not have room for a kitchen. I don't know. We'll see. We might maybe squeeze something in here. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Uh, let me show you what I did. I actually I went ahead and got the, uh, the paintings here. Um... I actually have since closed the tab, so I'm not even sure which pack I got, but, like, there's a website where you can just get all these ARC paintings, and they have, like, just a ton of them. Um, I'll try and find it. If I can't, then it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just look at that website. Um, but, yeah, so I've got, like, all these here, and then kind of, like, down here where we kind of get to some of the ones where I was like, okay, I don't know what to put on those. Electronic for this one, sure. I could also maybe put some polymer in there, too. Uh, this one here has a picture of silk, but really it is just scorched resources and then ab resources represented by the gem. Although I have since uh, forgotten to move these gems here. I just put those in with the crystal because they're kind of like almost the same thing. Let's see. Boom. So yeah, a bunch of ab resources in there. And then also we have miscellaneous down here. I don't really know. Like I could put spark powder and other things in here, but most of that stuff just kind of stays inside of the, um, the little mortar. Anyway, uh, we should take a look at these dodics because they probably pooped out another baby already. Let me see. Yeah, there's one in there. Oh, yeah, there's actually a few of them. Um, you're gestating. I'm pretty sure if I pick you up, it's going to destroy the baby. So, you know, I don't really want to get into that complicated topic in an arc video. So, yeah, let's just not do that. <laughs> All right, let's pick this dude up. Uh, yeah, it's not great. We're going to probably just remove you and, and get rid of you somewhere else. Um... I feel like if it's not a super high level, I just won't claim it because now I can't even get that other Dodic out of there. Like, it's probably not going to be able to come out. Whereas I can just, you know, pop Dexter out and kill the one that's in there. Let's see. Boom. Uh, they did just poop out another one, though, didn't they? I think that's 5-9. Looks like it says 5-9. All right. That's not a good level. Oh, wow. I can't even get rid of them. Dexter, come on, man. Ah, that sucks. Oh. Did I just did I just hit it there? I think I might have. No, I don't think I did. Never mind. 
All right, whatever. So, yeah, we're just going to keep breeding these dudes. Eventually, I'll just move the female. Um, maybe when it's gestating, actually, I can move it then. I was thinking of putting into the soul ball, but I don't need to do that. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can get a nice male or female with all of the good stats, and then we can retire our other dodic, which is in a soul ball downstairs. Oh, man. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Is that a mutation? That's totally mutated. Look, that's that's definitely mutated. Hang on. Yeah. Are you kidding me? That one was mutated, and I, like, almost killed it. All right, let me, let me just see what your mutation is, because I could potentially keep that mutation. Um, this one, right? Uh, so region zero is what got the mutation. I don't know what the region zero color is for both of these dudes. We have one of them. Let's see. Are these all the same? 13, 13. Yeah, they're basically all the same. So yeah, region zero is uh, 95, which I think is kind of like a bluish kind of color it looks to be. Like a bluish purple, maybe. Um, that's interesting, though. What is the mutation, though? Because if it's on a stat and it's a bad one, then I probably won't keep it. I think it's a food mutation. Yeah, it's a food mutation for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't want that. Yeah. So 31 uh, was for uh, either the male or the female. And then the other one was uh, 39. And then this one here is 40. So that means that it's definitely a, few, a food mutation. So I don't want that, unfortunately. But um, yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna get rid of it. <laughs> no, I guess I could probably afford this now, right? Oh, I just want one, not eleven. Boom. Yeah, we can. All right. Well, I guess we have a soul terminal. This is from the um, dinosaurage. It's it's probably not best to put it down there, would it be? Eh, you know what? I could probably just chuck it down here anyway. Uh, we could find a place for it, maybe over by like a wall. Maybe like ooh, there. No, that's not going to work, apparently. All right, let me try that again. Um, I I knew that, obviously, this exists and everything, and I know what I could do with it, but it was just a matter of, like, not having the resources to craft it before. Is that... Why won't that just place? Place for me, please. I want it on this side. Okay, you know what? It might actually end up having to be on the other side if it's not going to place. What the hell is happening? We just... You know what? I kind of almost want to just place it anywhere now. Let's just drop it right here. Whatever. Don't care. It's fine. Uh, let's see. So I think I need to enable the newborn uh, auto trap. Uh, enable. Cool. Um, all right. I think we need to drop in some of these for that to happen. So that's going to pick up the babies as soon as they pop out. You see, this is why this mod is so good for people who love breeding. You know... For me, this is like the perfect mod to be using because now I could just like chill here and I don't have to worry about making a giant mess and, and you know, messing up my server a little bit. I could just kind of chill here and, and wait for some babies to pop out. So, yeah, I think we'll just see you guys in a little bit when we actually have the baby that we're going to need. All right, so here's what we got. We got the pretty much every stat that I needed. We got the high health, the high stam, uh, high weight, high melee. Obviously, I could probably tame uh, some more Dodex and get better stats than these ones here, but I'm completely fine with these. Like, these work for me. Like, you know, I'm not going to be too picky about that. My god, it's got a lot of uh, food. Why does it have so much food? Oh my god, you had a lot. Wow, I didn't even notice that. That is crazy. Okay. Um, I thought that was like a weird product of it being like imprinted or something for a second to be honest i don't know that was strange i guess it just has a super high food uh base stat i never really noticed that with dodex before but um yeah anyway so we're probably gonna do some mutations eventually but for the moment i'm just gonna raise up this one i need a female that's identical uh same level um same stats of course and everything so yeah we're gonna do that and then eventually make ourselves a nice little mutation stack so we just got to let these two breed a little bit more together. It's a pity we didn't really get the super nice colors out of it, but eventually we will do those mutations and get those nice colors. So that is no bother at all. And to be honest, what could be a really good color for a Dodic? I feel like I should keep breeding until I get like a green as the main body, you know, like the main color there. I think that would be really nice. Like a vibrant, a vibrant green would be amazing. Like this one here looks so weird right now, although on Aberration it looked great. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. That is the end of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We took a little trip over to Aberration. We got ourselves some Dodex. We got a Bulb Dog. 
And, um, yeah, all is good. We didn't lose anything, which is the main part. We gotta just take these little steps occasionally, taming up, like, creatures that are probably not super exciting. I definitely want to go for some berries soon, though. And, uh, we'll be doing a lot of visits over to Genesis, I would say, because there's a lot of, like, creatures that are X creatures and I feel like if we're gonna be taming up those types of creatures, like aloes and different things, I might as well get the X variation because it's so much prettier than the regular ones. So yeah, totally gonna be spending a lot of time on Genesis, but um, yeah, that's it for today. If you guys have enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button. If you wanna see more like this, you can of course subscribe and yeah, catch you in the next one.